so hello guys this video is going to be slightly different from my rest of the videos in this video we are going to discuss a uh, property of uh, the projectile motion which arises due to its uh, property that it is a parabola and uh, we are going to try to prove it using some geometry rather than using a lot of algebra and uh, properties of parabola so uh, first like, let's look at the property uh, here which i am talking about so the horizontal range of a projectile between two fixed horizontal levels or on an incline is maximum when the initial and final velocities are perpendicular so basically what i'm saying here is that let's say we have a mountain here and you are projecting uh, some uh, particle with uh, some velocity at a, at some angle from the horizontal and it land let's say it lands here so uh, for this distance this is the horizontal range uh, which is i am talking about here so horizontal range is the distance along the x axis traveled and so for this distance to be maximum this velocity which is the final velocity should be perpendicular to the initial velocity so uh, let's try to see how does it uh, come here and how is it necessary in every case so first of all let's talk about the motivation behind this idea so first of all uh, let's first consider the ground to ground projectile and it's pretty standard result that the maximum range occurs when the angle of projection is 45 degrees and in this case the initial and final velocities are obviously perpendicular so this angle is 45 degree and this angle is 45 degree for ma maximum range similarly uh, in the case of projectile motion in uh, for an incline when we project uh, the ball at some angle uh, beta with the uh, uh, inclined plane so uh, if you uh, solve this on your own you will find that the for ma maximum range this beta uh, should be equal to uh, half of 90 minus alpha which means this should be projected along the angle bisector of this angle and on solving for the final velocity and finding this angle we find that this angle comes to be 90 minus beta and uh, here also it can be verified very uh, not very easily but it's a bit of calculation so uh, you can verify it here also uh, so that's what i've written here that and for uh, solving maximum range in this case we get that beta equals to 90 minus alpha over 2 and again v comes out to be perpendicular to you so now uh, so after this I tried to ch check whether it's true for any general case and I, I didn't want to get into algebra too much and neither into the properties of parabola and in this uh, video as I t told earlier I wish to emphasize more on the geometrical approach here. So first of all let's consider the uh, first two equations of kinematics for any projectile which will be uh, always true. So the first equation is uh, v equals to u vector plus g vector times t. This is the first equation of, of kinematics and s equals to u t plus half g t squared. So now, uh, drawing the vec vector di diagrams of these two, uh, we can clearly see that this is the vector diagram for the velocities. Uh, this 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 vector is the initial velocity. This vector is the gt, and this vector is the final velocity vector. And uh, what I did here, uh, what I manipulated here, it was that uh, if we multiply the first equation by t, so each of the velocities uh, gets scaled up by a factor of t. So this length becomes ut this length becomes vt and this length becomes gt squared so uh, this will be useful ahead uh, as you will uh, come to see so this is the first thing we did and the second equation is ut plus half at uh, ut plus half gt squared equals to s so this is the ut vector this is the half of gt square vector and this is the s vector which is the displacement or displacement vector of the particle so these two are, are the vector diagrams and we can superimpose this this diagram and this diagram so uh, what we get from here uh, on superposing uh, those two diagrams we can see that this point the point at which uh, s vector intersects this line comes out to be the midpoint of this line so uh, now we have uh, and i've assumed that the particle is projected at an angle theta with the horizontal this angle is theta and i've assumed the uh, angle between the initial and final velocities to be phi so uh, first of all uh, writing the relations uh, in triangle a d e what uh, what we get by sine rule is uh, gt square by sine phi gt square over sine of phi this angle is phi and vt by sine of pi by 2 minus theta and this angle is pi by 2 minus theta so vt over pi by 2 minus theta and ut over pi by 2 minus phi minus theta this angle is pi by 2 minus phi minus theta and on solving uh, from the first equations we get that t equals to v sine phi by g cos theta similarly uh, and what we can say here is that the area of the triangle ade can be represented in two ways as area of ade equals to half gt square times x 
this comes from uh, this assuming this to be the base of the triangle and this to be the height or the altitude of the triangle and I assumed x to be this distance and uh, we can see that x is the horizontal range which we needed to find in the first place so uh, the area comes out to be half gt square times x and the other way to represent it, it is half ut times vt times sine of phi these are uh, so ut is this side and vt is this side so area of any any triangle with two adjacent sides and the angle between them is given by half ab sine theta so uh, that's what i did here and t square cancels out so we get the value of x to be uv sine phi so one part of the result has uh, is direct can directly be proved, proved over here so from here clearly we can see that when we project a particle from one horizontal level to another level u and v will be constant like uh, v will be equals to root of u square minus 2gh or plus 2gh depending upon the height so uh, that's why u and v will be constant and this will be maximum in the case when sine phi will be maximum and that's when phi equals to pi by 2 so the only variable remaining in this is sine phi and x is the horizontal range so x will be maximum when sine phi is maximum and that will be when phi equals to pi by 2 so the uh, result when the, uh, we project the projectile between two different horizontal levels, uh, levels, this is directly proved that phi equals to pi by 2 and the final velocity should be perpendicular to the initial velocity. Hence that's the original result. But from here, we cannot directly deduce that this for an inclined plane as it is in the projection between two constant horizontal uh, and horizontal levels and hence the value of v also isn't constant. So to prove that, let's consider a slightly different uh, notation for uh, theta, phi and alpha as shown in the diagram for simplicity and notice that alpha is a constant which is equal to the angle of incline. So now let's try to prove it for specifically for an incline. So here I have changed the notation a bit. Here I have assumed that the angle theta is the angle of projection with, uh, with respect to the incline and uh, we, uh, we can clearly see that the s vector will be along the incline because as it is finally colliding with the incline so both the points will be on the incline and so s vector should be along the incline and here i have assumed the angle of uh, incline to be alpha and this angle is represented by this here and the phi stays same in this uh, in this case so again, by writing the seeing the geometry of the case, uh, by seeing the triangle ADE again, we can write the sine rule that gt square by sine phi equals to ut by sine of phi by 2 minus theta plus alpha plus phi and equals to vt by sine of pi by 2 minus theta plus alpha. And similarly, writing a sine rule for this triangle, which includes uh, and writing it for two, only two sides, this side and this side, because we don't know this, which is the s. So writing the sine rule for that, what we get is gt square by 2 sine theta equals to ut by cos alpha. And the third equation, again, similarly as we did in the first case, uh, which will remain same in this case also, will be uv sine phi over g. Now substituting the value of uh, t from first equality of the first equation, which is this, and into the second, and I have substituted the value of t from this into here, and eliminating v from the second equality of the first and third equations what we get is uh, and i've uh, uh, eliminated v from these two parts so uh, what we get from here we get uh, two equations we get first equation to be u by cos alpha equals to g by 2 sine theta times u sine phi by g times cos of theta minus alpha minus phi and x comes out to be u square cos of theta minus alpha sine phi by g cos theta minus alpha minus phi so these two equations we get and now dividing these two equations we can see that phi gets eliminated and we get so uh, dividing these two equations we get that sine phi gets cancelled out and cos of theta minus alpha minus phi gets cancelled out so this simplifies a lot and finally we get the value of x to be 2u square cos of theta minus alpha sine theta over g cos alpha you notice that here uh, now this equation has been simplified only in terms of one variable that is theta and uh, the alpha is constant here and u is also constant here so and uh, what we can write from here is uh, uh, taking this 2 sine theta into cos of theta minus alpha uh, writing it in the form of the identity that sine of 2 sine a cos b should be equals to sine of a plus b plus sine of a minus b and uh, expanding it here we get the value uh, we get that this term again becomes constant and this is the only variable term so for that to be maximum we get that uh, 2 theta minus 5 should be equals to pi, uh, pi by 2 and we get phi equals to 
and uh, from here we get that theta equals to pi by 2 minus alpha by 2 and on again substituting uh, uh, this in any of the equations we will finally get phi equals to pi by 2 so that's the these are the two results which needed to be proved and yeah this is a very useful result uh, and you can use it in uh, many of the projectile maximum range projectile questions and hope you all uh, like this result so please like share and subscribe thank you